Hi everybody, happy Thursday. For today's story, I have Twinkle Makes a Wish. It's written by Katherine Holabird and Sarah Warburton, and it's published by Simon & Schuster. And we wanna thank them for allowing us to read this story to you today. So let's find out what this little fairy is up to in this story. Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Yeah, you ready? Okay, bud. All right, so what do we see here? What do you see on the end pages? What do you see? I see presents and cake. Hmm. And some balloons. Twinkle makes a wish. It was almost Twinkle's birthday and she wanted to invite everyone to her party. Come and join me at the Fairy Glen under the sparkle tree. It's going to be a fairy-tastic birthday jamboree. Okay, it's a birthday party. How many of you have birthdays in the spring? Ben just had a birthday in March. Twinkle was in such a tizzy. There was so much to do before the big day. Luckily, her best friends, Pippa and Lulu, were there to help. First, let's make some sparkly invitations, said Twinkle. The three little fairies had lots of fun sticking, sticking, cutting, and coloring together. There were sparkles and glitter everywhere. When the invitations were done, Twinkle sent them out by special dragon delivery. Fly super fast, Twinkle told Scruffy, her pet dragon. Okay, who out there likes sparkles and glitter? Oh, sparkles get everywhere, don't they? I know glitter does. Now for the decoration, said Twinkle. The three little fairies swooped up and down and all around the fairy glen, stringing up brightly colored lights, balloons, and streamers. They even used a little magic. Wow, the fairy glen looks super duper. It's time to make my favorite fairy berry cake, said Twinkle, opening her fairy flavors cookbook. Twinkle loved to bake and the three fairies did their best to follow the recipe carefully. What is your favorite flavor for your birthday cake? But when the cake came out of the oven, it was all loopy and lumpy. This one calls for some extra fairy magic, said Twinkle, swooshing her wand. Cakery bakery, twiddle dee tweet, make my cake look pretty and sweet. But with each swoosh, Twinkle's cake just got loopier and lumpier. Don't worry, Twink, said Lulu, we'll cover it up with icing. Isn't that a crazy looking cake? At last, everything was ready for the party. Twinkle yawned and checked the brilliant night sky before going to bed. Glittering gumdrops, she said, tomorrow's going to be a very special day. But in the middle of the night, while all the forest creatures were asleep, there was a huge storm in Sparkle Tree Forest. The wind blew Twinkle's party decorations helter-skelter, and the rain poured down and soaked Twinkle's birthday cake. Oh, no. That is the worst, isn't it? When you wake up to a storm in the middle of the night and how, oh, what's gonna happen now? Slimy salamanders, cried Twinkle, arriving at the Fairy Glen the next morning. My party's a ginormous mess. The kind forest creatures heard Twinkle crying and they all came out to help. That is a huge mess, isn't it? They found the lost party decorations, but there was no way they could fix Twinkle's birthday cake in time. Don't worry, we'll pretend there's a cake, said Pippa cheerily. And we can still have the party, said Lulu, giving her friend a big hug. Isn't it nice they're trying to make her feel better about this? Just then, Fairy Godmother arrived, grandly waving her wand. It's your birthday, Twinkle, so I'm granting you a special wish. Twinkle looked at her friends and all the creatures who had helped them. Then she closed her eyes. I wish all the fairies and creatures and elves will have lots of fun and enjoy themselves. 
so she just wants her friends to have a good time. When Twinkle opened her eyes, the party lights were shining, the decorations were sparkling, and the table was perfectly set. Best of all, there was a beautiful fairy berry birthday cake. Happy birthday, Twinkle, smiled fairy godmother. Because what would a party be without cake, right? Twinkle had a fairy-tastic birthday after all, playing and dancing in the moonlight with her forest friends. Her heart was glowing with happiness and her wings were as pink as pom-poms. My, my special wish came truly true. We've all had a wonderful time. Birthdays are the best of fun when you have great friends like mine. And do you see all the sparkles on this? Do you see that? The end. So what is your favorite flavor cake? Ben, what's your favorite flavor? Chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, I love chocolate. I love vanilla. Cake is just delicious. Let me know what your favorite is on our Instagram page. And what is the best party you ever had? Let me know. I will be back on Tuesday with some brand new stories to share with you. And remember, tomorrow, that's Friday and Saturday, we are closed. So I hope everybody has a wonderful Easter. I'll see you back here on Tuesday. Bye for now.